Welcome back. So, uh, let's go ahead and begin with our first, the very first C++ program. It's not going to do much. In fact, it's not going to do anything. But in this chapter, we will write a C++ program to show what each C++ program must contain. Uh, you might find it a little bit surprising just how little will it actually, just how little is actually needed for a C++ program. We will see how to later on down along the later later on in, within the confines of this chapter we will see how to write to standard output how to declare variables in C++ and their memory representation. But for the time being, let's go ahead and see what a C++ program must contain. So this is the bare minimum, the like nothing but the mandatory things. Let's just go ahead and pop code blocks. Come on, my good man, come on, today. Okay, so file, we're gonna go ahead and create a new project for this particular chapter. So uh, just go ahead and select the console application, go. Next, yes, we will make sure that it's C++ and not C. Uh, project title, chapter one. Okay, so you can change its location here. I've just placed mine on the desktop. It doesn't really matter to me at all, but you can place yours wherever you would like to place it. And go ahead and click on next. Uh, this is all fine and dandy. Just go ahead and click on finish. So if you go into sources, main CPP, go ahead and open it up. You can delete this. In case you don't have the main CPP, you can just uh, you can just basically create. You can just basically create a file. I'll. I do believe that I have demonstrated that in the very beginning chapters. But you will always have this template in code blocks anyway. It doesn't matter. Main.cpp is just a file. It can be empty. It can contain some code depending on how the templates are configured. So code blocks does gives us does give us the basic program, but I've deleted it just to show you what the basic one actually needs to contain. Because what code blocks gives you is a little bit more than the basic C++ program. So I'm just gonna press enter a couple of times for the sake of aesthetics. No real reason, for, no real technical reason for it. And if I type in int main, okay, press enter, open, close. This is it. This is the uh, C++ program, the very basic one. It is a valid C++ program, and it cannot get smaller than this. This is the smallest possible C++ program that you can make, in my opinion, anyway. I mean, if somebody else can make a smaller one, uh, please do let, uh, please send me a private message or something like that, and I would love to, I would love to see it. But I don't, I, I'm pretty sure it's not possible. Anyway. Uh, that's it. This is a valid C++ program. It doesn't do anything at all. And if you build and run it, nothing will happen and the program will simply stop executing. We will, later on along the way, we will explain what each line of the code does through our examples. But for now, you have to keep in mind what, what, uh, what we have learned in this chapter. It might not seem like we've learned a lot, but believe me, it is very significant probably the most significant thing you will learn about C++, because without it, you won't be able to move anywhere in C++ world. So, each C++ program must have a valid entry point, meaning main function. What functions are, uh, etc., that will be explained along the way. But for now, just take, it for, take my word for it, every C++ program must have this entry point must have an entry point. And that entry point is the main function. This is how things are. And later in the course, you will see what functions are and how they work. Now let's go ahead, build and run the program. So build and run up here. You can go ahead and click on it. That's it. Now, depending on the development environment that you are using, the integrated development environment that is, I'm using code blocks as it is the simplest one. Code blocks will always pretty much do this. It will pop this terminal and then it will hold it open for you so that it doesn't close. If you were to, for example, run in this run this in Eclipse, it would behave in a different fashion. If you were to run this in 
net beans again it would behave in a different fashion if you were to compile this from compile and run it from the cmd again it would behave in a little bit of a different fashion you see each each in each environment adds something of its own but as you can see absolutely nothing happens uh there is nothing printed out on the, onto the screen the program does nothing etc so let's just go ahead and close it and this is basically it that's what you need to learn. This is the very first thing that I wanted to teach you what a basic, most basic C++ program looks like that it works. Bid you farewell, and we shall see each other in the next chapter, in the next tutorial.